Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2, not specifically. We're going to be talking about the redacted engrams that the TWAB introduced. I was going to do it with the other video about sunsetting weapons, but it just... At the time, it was like 25 minutes of that video, so I was just like, I'm just going to make another video. It's not that big a deal, to be quite honest. So, let's just get right into it. We spoke a lot about rewards last week. We will still have some more... Oh, but we still have some more juicy nuggets to share with you on some additional plans we have for next season. Here's creative lead Robbie Stevenson with the details. Hey everyone, in season 11, we're trying something new uh, with how and where you can earn seasonal rewards. So far, every season in year three has followed a formula where the seasonal activity, Vex Offensive, Sundial, Bunker Slash, Seraph Towers, asks for a significant amount of playtime to earn new rewards. While we believe that the new content should be one of the best places to earn new rewards, we also realize that Destiny 2 is a big game and it can be frustrating to have so much of your playtime dictated by and focus slowly on seasonal activities. So in Season 11, seasonal rewards will drop from completing core activities, strikes, crucible, gambit, as well as basically every other activity in the game. See the full list detailed, or see the full list detailed below. We want to make engaging with the entire game feel more rewarding, or feel rewarding, and for every play session to give you a chance at earning seasonal loot. In addition to new rewards, season 11 will also feature, what? Season 11 also features two returning weapons, each from season of the Undying, season of Dawn, and season of the Worthy, for a total of six weapons that are free for all players. Okay, we talked about some of the places in where you'll earn rewards in Season 11. Now let's talk about how you can influence those rewards and chase god rolls and high stat armor. <sighs> Over the last few seasons, we've introduced weapon bounties that give you agency to chase specific rewards. While addressing bounty fatigue will be an effort that extends beyond Year 3, for the upcoming seasons, we've moved away from weapon bounties as part of that effort. Instead, we're introducing a new type of redacted engram that contains the majority of Season 11 rewards. And by spending seasonal currency, you can influence the contents of this redacted engram. To clear up any confusion, let's imagine if we launch this redacted engram in Season of the Worthy. Imagine this engram contained all the Season of the Worthy weapons and armor. Now imagine you could take this engram to a Seraph, to seraph Bunker and spend seasonal currency to focus the contents of this engram so it only contains the 7th Seraph, SMG, and Shotgun. By focusing redacted engrams in Season 11, you can choose your rewards. This includes the ability, once you've earned it, to focus engrams so they can only contain Season 11 armor with high stat packages. All free players and free pa or Season Pass owners will receive redacted engrams while playing Season 11. However, only Season Pass owners can access the full suite of focusing categories in Season 11. Here is a preview of the redacted engram focusing categories that all players can access after completing the Season 11 opening quest. Season 11 armor focusing reduces the number of rewards in engrams so it only contains Season 11 armor. Previous season weapon focusing converts the rewards in engrams so it only contains the six, we six weapons that are returning from Season of Undying, Dawn, and Worthy. When Season 11 launches, all players will get three focusing categories and Season Pass owners will have an access to an additional 15. List of activities that reward Redacted Ingrams in Season 11 are Redacted, Redacted, Public Events, Strikes, Gambit, Crucible, Dungeons, Raids, Adventures, Nightmare, Hunts, Forges, Reckoning, Menageries, Escalation Protocol, and Blind Wolf. In addition to the above list, redacted engrams have a chance to drop when defeating combatants anywhere in the system, similar to legendary engrams. They share the same loot pool as legendary engrams, and when you hit that loot pool, you have a 66% chance to earn a redacted engram and a 34% to earn a legendary engram. We hope this preview of Season 11 gives some insight on how we're approaching the community's feedback in the short term. So, that's pretty much it. I don't. I'm not going to read everything else, but the whole time now is just going to talk about how I think this system probably is flawed in a little bit of a few ways. So first and foremost, it's going to share the world loot pool. So from what I gather, they share the same loot pool as legendary engrams. When you hit that loot pool, you have a 66% chance to earn a redacted engram and a 34% to a percent chance to earn a legendary engram. So let me tell you why I hate this. First and foremost, 
I like the idea of a redacted engram. I think that's fine. I think that's cool. I think they could have implemented it in a better way. Kind of like not it not be associated with legendary engrams already considering there's so many weapons and armor in the legendary engram loot pool, world pool, that it's just going to make getting certain weapons, certain armor just even more annoying. That's not even mentioning the fact that can I get redacted engrams through Rahul, Master Rahul? If I can do that, that's another kind of... Mm, that's kind of a problem in my eyes because his legendary engrams are not cheap. They're 25 each. And for someone who has like 10,000 legendary shards, that might not seem like a lot. For someone who has 1,000, that is a lot because that's just like what... If my math is correct, that's like 40, 40 engrams for a thousand uh, legendary shards, which sounds good in theory until you realize the amount of stuff that is in the world pool. We have the faction rally weapons and armor that came in Season of the Worthy. We have the stuff from Season of Dawn. We have the stuff from Season of the Undying. And then we have stuff just in general that's always been there. We have the destiny vanilla armor sets that are still in that part in that portion we still have so much in that world drop pool alone now you're telling me it, it's sharing it's not even sharing you get a 33 percent chance of getting a legendary engram and then the 66 percent chance is the engram the redacted engram so it just means that have that that escape velocity that I want to get, which is overflow and quick draw. I'm just going to have to settle for overflow and Vorpal Weapon, the one that I have already. That uh, the old fashioned that I maybe want to get another uh, perk rotation on just means Feeding Frenzy and Explosive Payload is my best choice. It just means that you're just going to settle for less because you have a 33% chance of getting a Legendary Engram now. And it would have been, you know what? You know what would have been really good? I think if they made that redacted engram kind of like the world drop engram if let's say the redacted engram has all of the world pools plus the new stuff in season of dawn or season of redacted whatever it's called i think a better way would have been okay kind of like a collections thing here's all the armor and weapons that are in this engram what do you want to roll for and then it has a certain percentage of giving me that or if not like kind of have it like warframe where you can like it gives you a, like a list of what you can get and then you can make the percentages higher and then just roll on the dice basically i would like it if they did it something like that that way i can just you know i like choose like some of the all right so if i don't get the armor piece ar this armor piece that i really want i'll be okay with getting this weapon if i don't get this weapon i'll be okay with getting this other weapon uh, it would, if they really wanted to wow me, it would be great if they were like, okay, cool. You can even choose certain perk rotations for an additional percentage drop or whatever. So like, let's say, let's say you want to get a interference VI with spike grenades, a, a barrel that had ex has an explosive radius, auto loading holster and full court. And then maybe, maybe blast radius for your master work. So let's say for the interference itself, it's like a 70% chance of getting it. With all of those changes, then it would go down to like maybe a 30 to 40% chance. I would still go for that, but if I can't go for that, then I guess I'll just go for another like armor piece or another weapon with specific perks. I think that would be great considering there's just so much in the world pool that at one point I'll get it. So I think, I think what they should have done is increase the legendary engrams buy a little more like however much it is now just increase it a little bit more and then just add the season of redacted as the world pool engram so that each season the world pool engram is the seasonal engram that way if you want to get certain and or certain pieces from that season or pre pre previous seasons you have that option I think that would be a great way to do it. Hopefully I can make something on like Photoshop to show you guys what I mean. But it would just be amazing to like see what you can get and then just choose what you can get. And then let's say I want to get that interference. It could show me all the possible 
uh, rotations that that, the, that weapon can get with the perks. And then I can choose each one, and each one, depending on how powerful it is, decreases my percentage. Like, that would be great. I would love to see something like that. My only issue is that, like, how would they even do that? This is super fanciful thinking at this point, because this this uh, in, uh, redacted engram is going to happen not the way I want it to, just the way that they think is best, which, could be, to, to be completely honest... I don't even know what best in their mind is anymore because this just dilutes the legendary pool world pool in general by so much that people who don't have the faction armors who don't have the the pve variations of the pvp armor from season or from vanilla destiny 2 the people who don't have that specific armor me being one of those people because I want that armor for my, my Titan, I still don't have that. I only have like two pieces of it because the whirlpool is so fucking mass, massive. And then on top of that, you're putting another engram that has a higher percentage of me not getting the, that one percentage. that I, it's, it's just too much. It's just too much. It, that like For me, that would be the most like viable thing to do just make the engram and the world pool just combine it together and say you can choose either the world drops or you can choose this season's world drops that way when i have an engram i'm actually excited to open it instead of just being like well whatever i don't care about world drops if i'm that guy like oh whatever i don't care about world drops so this is just gonna be sharded instead it could be like oh shit i got an engram i can go for a certain weapon rotation that i want on a certain weapon this season that would be great people would be excited to get engrams again instead of just being like oh i'm just gonna shard this or whatever i think that would be a great way to not only bring excitement back to engrams but also not devalue the world pool because the world pool still has a lot of good weapons a lot of great armor and especially when transmog is coming in the way i feel people are going to want some of the armor in the rotations if you guys keep hearing my my keyboard it's i'm just walking around in destiny 2 because i don't know what to do but i think that would be a great thing to do so in conclusion the redacted engram should be the the seasonal engram so for an example for if they put it in this season i would call it the season or worthy engram or something like that or or engram of the worthy uh dawn engram worthy engram stuff like that i would call it the season engram and then it like you click it and instead of like just getting something randomly you can press right click or i think triangle for triangle for ps4 and y for xbox one and then it'll show you a list or not a list but it'll show you like two two choices seasonal seasonal armor and weaponry or world drop armor and weaponry you click on either one you click on the world drop and it shows you all of the armory that you can get all of the weapons that you can get and if it's armor it gives you a certain percentage or fuck it just gives it to you i don't know for for weapons i think percentages would probably be better I think like oh an interference i would love to get an interference if they don't want to go above and beyond and let us choose what what we want that's fine but just being able to be like okay i want to get this right now okay cool either percentage or you just get it would be amazing that way i can actually choose what i want i really want to see how how they're going to do it for for the next season because i'm really curious as to how we can choose not only that it just kind of feels like the perks that we got in the season pass for the season pass holders, the ones where it's like, oh, you have a percentage to get this season's weapons and PvP and Crucible and all that. It just feels like they're putting all of those in the game, which, I mean, to be fair, should have been in the game in the first place. And then the the different like choices of what to pick is going to be in this in the season pass. At least that's what I think. That's how it sounds because obviously they need to retain retain a value for the season pass unless people are, unless people are just not gonna buy it. So I get why they would do that. I just it's just kind of like this makes sense. Like this should have been in the game. The fact that I couldn't play Crucible 
and not earn stuff from this season unless I was a season pass holder is just stupid. So, I mean, whatever. But yeah, the the redacted engram sounds cool. It's just that I don't like that it's taking even more space away from the world drops when there's a few world drop weapons that I really want. There's a there's a few weapons that people will still hunt down. I know people that have killed like thousands upon thousands of legendary shards just to get one weapon. So again, Bungie, I don't I I like the idea. I just don't think like reducing the chance to get a legendary engram for the sake of this new engram is the smartest thing. I think you undervalue the amount of people that are still trying to farm for specific weapons in the in the world in the world drop. So hopefully ho hopefully they either see this video or someone tells them that because I I'm still farming for certain armor pieces, certain weapon pieces like I still don't have all of the dead orbit armor. I don't have all of the new monarchy armor. I don't have all of the uh, future war cult armor. And that's not even saying like the other armor sets that have been in the game longer. And I still don't have because <sighs> world drop pool is just gross. It's huge. So again, Bungie, I love it. I just would love it even more if, you know, you didn't decrease my chances of getting stuff that i want from the world drops so let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys excited for this specific change let me know in the comments below if you guys are trying to follow me on my social media links uh links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it especially to like the few people that watch my other content like my doom video or my resident evil videos i really do appreciate it i'm trying to do other content would be great if you guys saw my content but Destiny 2 is really just why you're here, I guess. So thank you, I guess, for that. But if you guys do want to help me out, watch the other content. I'm not even asking for much. Just watch it. If you guys don't even like it, just let me know in the comments below. Just don't be an asshole about it. And yeah, other than that, I will see you guys later.